Good morning, everybody. It is time to get you caught up in the world of motorsports right now. It is time for the Monday morning race review and boy we're wrapping up the season only a couple of more weeks to go but we are going to start off with some activity that we're used to seeing around here but this time they were racing in the desert they are at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway complex at the dirt track it was the 21st annual duel in the desert and congratulations are going out to somebody who took home a big old paycheck uh, Jason Hughes uh, he is from Watts Oklahoma he wins the modified show on Saturday night takes home a check of seven thousand seven hundred and $77. Ricky Alvaro uh, from Colorado finished in second place. And our very own Clive's very own Ricky Thornton Jr. finished in third place in the modified main event on Saturday night. Now, the uh, Carl Chevrolet Northern Sport Mods were also in action. There were 300 modifieds there, almost 100 Sport Mods that were there. And how about this? Having an Iowa guy win this one from Denison at Jake uh, Suchow. Congratulations. He wins that event. He takes home almost two grand, $1,700. And $77 for his efforts. Uh, Cody Olson from Omaha finished in second, and Cody Thompson from Sioux City finished in 24th in this major league event, racing in the desert over in Las Vegas. That is pretty cool. Other uh, see desert activities did include the NASCAR playoffs, as we are going to find out who is going to be in the championship for next weekend to determine championships in each of the three major divisions. ISM Raceway in Phoenix, Arizona is where this one is is being held and this is three laps to go take a look here Noah Gregson Grant and figure on the front row but look who's in the 16 in the second row diving down low yep that is that is Grimes very own Brett Moffitt he has done this so many times they are now I believe starting to call this the Moffitt maneuver lulls them into a false sense of security and then at the last minute pulls the trigger one more lap around this track this track is just a touch bigger than Iowa Speed Speedway. It's about one mile, about the size of Prairie Meadows. Or Iowa Speedway is seven eighths of a mile, but he hangs on. They're trying to track him down, but to no avail. He has four wins on the season already. He needs this one here to punch his ticket to the championship round next week in Homestead, Miami Speedway. And he comes out of turn number four, and he does it. Brett Moffitt wins in Phoenix. Congratulations to Brett Moffitt and his entire team. What an outstanding effort for him. There are the rest of the results. Now we have to find out who the rest of the four are. Now we uh, did talk to, uh, to, to Brett uh, over the weekend. He is going to be on with us on Wednesday. So we'll be uh, checking in with Brett Moffitt from his race shop live via Skype on Wednesday to let us know uh, what his mindset is going into the championship because four people have a shot at the championship and those are the four people. It's going to be a, either a Toyota or a Chevy that will be the champs. Uh, Brett Moffitt, of course, uh, this guy is five wins on the year right now. Justin Haley in the Chevy. Johnny Sauter, who you met on this program a couple of different times in a Chevrolet and also Noah Gregson. All three and four of those guys uh, beside Brett have a shot at this. To be honest, the two that you really have to look for, it's going to be between Brett and Johnny Sauter. That's what we're calling right here. So great job out of Brett Moffitt. We're looking forward to talking to him on Wednesday. Well, the Xfinity Series, uh, they also had to set their championship for the wheel entrusted to perform. 200 is the name of this race. We take a look and show you what happened in this one. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek and Cole Custer were getting started here. Now, Cole was the only one that is guaranteed a starting spot in the championship for next weekend. So three spots were up for grabs, including one that this guy hoped he was going to get Elliott. At Sadler, that didn't work out, and one that this guy wanted as well, Justin Allgaier. He had everything going his way, wins stage one, he wins stage two, and then as he's going to try to pick up the third one, gets into the back of another competitor, gets a major league damage on the right front of his car. That put an end to his efforts. John Hunter Nemechek, who started up front at the race, banging off of people. This is last chance for people to try to get into the championship four, but this guy here, although he did not pass inspection prior to the race and had a Start from the tail of the race, had to start from the tail of the starting grid. He made his way to the front, and Christopher Bell advances to the championship four. That is seven wins this year for the guy we've seen at Knoxville Raceway many, many times. Really nice young man. So he punches his ticket into the championship four next week at Homestead Miami Speedway. You can see the seven there. That's how many wins he has this year. He hopes he can put eight fingers up next week and take home that championship. 
So congratulations. These are the four people that will fight for the championship next week at Homestead Miami Speedway. Cole Custer, the first one in, Christopher Bell, uh, Tyler Reddick, and then the guy you met here just a couple of weeks ago, Daniel Hemrick, all four of those guys going for the championship. Now we time to take a look at the cup race. That is the, uh, the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series. Can-Am 500 was yesterday at the ISM race. Remember they reconfigured this track just position wise, they moved the start finish line to one of the corners. Basically, you can see the new grandstands there. Millions and millions of dollars were spent on this and causing all kinds of havoc. That is Joey Logano. He has already punched his ticket into the main event, so he was good. He was the only one that's into the championship four. He wrecked out before 100 laps. And then this is heartbreaking. That is Kurt Busch getting turned by Denny Hamlin, then Kurt into Chase Elliott. Both those guys hoping to make the championship four. That took him out. Then five Final restart of the race. That is Kyle Busch getting tracked down by number 10, Eric Almirella. Uh, Eric had to win this race if he wanted to get into the championship four. But again, there's no catching Kyle Busch. This guy is the real deal. He gets in. He is in the championship four. All he had to really do is finish the race. He didn't need to win it, but he said, you know, it's fun winning these things uh, nonetheless. Kyle ends up winning. Kyle Larson finishes in third place. Good run out of him. Uh, Eric came just a little bit short. He ends up finishing in fourth place. Kevin Harvick, now last week at this time, we told you that he won the race. A penalty eliminated his victory and all the, uh, the, the perks that go along with it. He had to race his way back into this race. He wasn't in it for a while, folks, but let's take a look at the four people that will compete for the championship next Sunday at Homestead Miami Speedway. Logano is checking in. Bush is checking in. Martin Truex Jr. is in. Remember, his race team is going away at the end of this year. It's folding, and Truex will drive the number 19 for Joe Gibbs Racing next year. And then Kevin Harvick is in. Fords and Toyotas will battle it out to see who the champion will be. Remember, it's not who wins this race next week in all three of these divisions. It's which one of these four guys finishes better than the other three. That person will be the 2018 champion. Great job there. Also, it was a wrap-up weekend for the NHRA, the finals in Panoma, California. And for the first time ever, something pretty cool happened. The people that won the, the uh, races in this event also took home the championships. Look at this, Steve Torrance are going up head to head. Torrance wins, he wins the race against Schumacher and then wins the world championship. So great job out of him. So that is number one. Next up on the list will be J.R. Todd. He is going up against Tommy Johnson Jr. from Ottumwa. Really close race here, but you can see who won here. J.R. Todd wins the race, wins the world championships. Then Tanner Gray, it is his turn. Again, Against Drew and not a thing you like to see. He red lights, Drew red lights. That means uh, Tanner Gray can just cruise on through. He wins the event and he wins the world championship. And you gotta get to see the motorcycles here. Look at Matt Smith there. These things are really cool and boy, do they fly. Matt Smith in pro stock motorcycles uh, with a speed of over 200 miles an hour, 201.22 miles an hour. He takes home the win and he takes home the championship. So there you have it, your four main winners winners in NHRA for 2018. And there you have it, folks. So that is this week's Monday Morning Race Review. We wrap up the race review next week and let you know who the champions are in the NASCAR Premier Series next week. We are really looking forward to that. 